championship showdown between Alexander Volkanovsky and the Korean zombie, Chan Song Jung. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Volkanovski is 31, Chung is 33. The rest of the numbers are close. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the Korean Zombie, Chan Song Chan. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it fit. a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was gonna try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Flush right hand is true. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Volker. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Down into his mouth. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. 20 seconds left. Final seconds here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. From. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go now, champ. Round two, Alexander Volkanovsky versus the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. What a punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. So we lean on the numbers here. 47 total strikes and counting have now landed for the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. Pretty efficient, too. 71% the connection rate thus far against Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Left hand punch with the clinch. Right hand punch with the clinch. Went for the inside leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That knee might have landed there. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Under two minutes to go. 
Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Back and forth we go. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pitch. All right, so a nice connection there with the one-two for Alexander Volkanovsky, the former rugby league standout. It's amazing to think not all that long ago this was a man who weighed 214 pounds. I mean, that is massive. 214 pounds fighting at featherweight now. Could you imagine the discipline that he had to show in order to get to this weight class? He can do it pretty comfortably. He's not dying when he's walking to the scale. He's a pro's pro, and it's showing in his performances. Here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just misses with the jab there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice head kick. So the numbers thus far, unofficial they may be, but 84 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And connecting at a pretty good rate, DC, 60% accuracy thus far against the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. Volkanovsky gets the tie clinch here. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Under two minutes to go in round three. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels and explode it to you. And when he gets his hands locked, you're going to slide. This guy's a full-on mixed martial arts fight. The Korean zombie gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Slips the left hand. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Huge block there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. And they separate. Got the single collar tie. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Jong gets hit by that leg kick. Get in, get out. 
All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Beautiful strike. Enters in on the double leg. Oh, that was a big... Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempt without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the court? Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Right hook to the head blocked. Head kick. Single collar tie now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Knocked out by the spinning back fist. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice defense on the single leg attempt there. The Korean Zombies lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice right hand. Blocks the shot to the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, big elbow. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by the Korean Zombie. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get from that fighter that is so evenly matched. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Stuff to take down, no problem. Volkanovski gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Real quick leg kick. Oh, strong punch there by Volker. Oh, nice. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. 
continues to work out of that tight clinch. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Battling for hooks. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. The oh, so high amplitude up. double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh Going up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Nice kick. Oh, a good lead right by Volkanovski. Knee to the body, it's blocked. There. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Takedown lands. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice, and it works out for him there. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion. Wasn't much for words during fight week. He just kept saying, and still, and that's exactly how it goes down tonight. Congratulations to the UFC featherweight champion of the world. Starting to close that gap on the all-time breaks, too, with this result tonight. He is